I've got me a trailer. It was given to me. And I'd like to make a storage shed out of it. I call it the inside out storage unit. A shade tree project right there. So I've got this wild idea to create a storage unit only accessible from the outside. Unlike a shed, all the walk area could be used for storage. I want to have it where you can get to everything without moving something else to get to it. Let me give you an example. When you come in here, you see a bench with items and a top shelf. That's good. Then you come over here and you got your rakes and shovels piled up. That's not too bad. But when you get to the plywood, you got to move that sheet to get to anything behind it. And then the same thing over here, we want this box. So I'm going to remove all this stuff. Same deal. You know, if you want something in the front, you're good. But if you want something behind it... So up here is ideal. You can see everything, nothing in the way. And you just scan across and you're like, there it is. That's what I need. The dog leash anchor. This whole idea right here is the concept with my utility outdoor inside out shed. Got a flat tire. A lot of dry rot. Going to need some new wheels. Maybe bearings. Here's the back side of the tires. A lot of dry rot. And the leaf spring looks backwards, but I guess they do it that way to give clearance when you're backing your boat in. Like if you drop off the cement edge, you don't get hung up on the bolts. Then we got this set of tires. Looks like that's rusted completely through. So I'm gonna start by removing those planks, brackets, and winch. Now I just need a shade tree. This thing here will not lock in. Won't latch. All the parts are there. I'll have to loosen that bolt. I think the spring is wore out. Look at that. Unreal. One down. Two. Mmm, might need an impact on that one. Oh, she broke loose. Nice. So far, so good. Well, I don't have enough restriction. Old school technique? Yes! Oh, that was tight. <clears throat> Got it. X. Bam! Bam, yep. Got them all. Got a little noise coming from this one. How long that would last at high speed, I don't know. But I'm not going to Florida. My longest distance will be like 20 miles every five years. I just want a nice set of tires so I don't have to worry about them going flat all the time. Always having to top them off. That bearing's good. This one, I wouldn't make a long trip on. It would probably heat up, lock up, and there you are. Trailer alongside the road for the taking. So I don't think this is a grease buddy right here. I'll have to pop that off. like a paint can lid.
No grease, buddy. But there's lots of grease in there. Huh. Oh well. You'll have these things. And I've never done a bearing before. Ew. For those that have never done this process, don't overly hit it, just hit it repeatedly, spinning the wheel, creating a consistent vibration, and it will break free. Be patient, no matter how long it takes, eventually it will break free. If not, then try heating the rim. Look, Yokohama. Check that out. Yokohama on a boat trailer. Yeah. 145 SR12. I thought I'd find a lot of rust back here, maybe some holes where the water gets trapped. This trailer's been sitting over 30 years behind a shed in the shade. This more than likely is a galvanized trailer. That's why it's held up so good. For now, I'm gonna leave that support beam on. I might use it for something. I'd like to flip the trailer over, inspect the frame, pressure wash, give it a coat of paint. So let me jack this up. So I've just discovered both those bearings are bad. Shake test. Some of that shake is due to the rim being rusted out. That one's not too bad. got a sporadic sound. What the heck's that mean? Consistent. So let me remove that and see what we find. Good sign. Both of them are loose. Nice. So is it just going to pull off like we'd like it to? Oh my God, you got to be kidding me. This is too easy. There's the bearing. If you'd like to watch the full version of bearing replacement, I have a link in the description and I'll provide one at the end of this video. Wheels. Noise.
right here at this joint on that side I discovered a crack so I threw a barbecue because one of the family members is a welder and I made sure he was well fed and everybody's looking at the trailer asking questions so we got over looking at it and I pointed out that crack in the frame and he says well I got a portable welder in the truck I'll get a piece of flat steel and weld that up for you <laughs> so I got him another burger she and placed a six-pack of Bud Light at his feet and he gave me a funny look and then it dawned on me so I real quickly changed that out to Rolling Rock and then he went to town Nice work. Thank you. Let me see if I can get this apart. Got a bolt under here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hate when that happens. Nice. That's unexpected. Check that out. Wow, all kinds of goodies came out of there. So while I'm waiting on the latch parts, I'll install a trailer jack just picked up this trailer jack from Walmart tow smart be a nice addition for the trailer $36 cha-ching throw it on the trailer I'm gonna have it fall right there so this will protect it and I won't have to strap it out of the way lock washer nut and just hang it right over the side <laughs> now if you want to get technical <laughs> time for some demonstration so the chair is going to serve as the trailer hitch. All right. All right. It swings both ways. In fact, it swings in any direction. made a few changes to the jack put it on this side because when you get out of your vehicle you're already on this side and then I raised it up so now these studs are under the frame holding the weight Amazon delivered a little gift thank you they've got it pre-assembled so that would be the order the parts go in this is a little bigger than this one but it's for a two inch ball Kurt well trusted name in trailer supplies
now it's a matter of adjustment. That's nice. Real loose, but no movement. Like a ball joint. All right. Real world application. Well, that thing there is loose, but so I plan to extend the unit all the way to here, and it would be ideal to have this squared off, framed up in metal. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it in lumber. So hit me up in the comments section. Is this a bad idea? Good idea? Will it work? What you would have done? Same deal in the back. Again, it would be nice to have metal framing. I'm going to extend 26 inches. A little weak. I'm going to put a gusset underneath. And when everything's tied in, it will be sufficient. Throughout this project, I'm always going to apply logic to my ideas to shed a different light, such as when there's a boat on here, the boat hangs off a good two feet, and then you got the heavy engine sitting right here. So the boat is the support, meaning my building will be the support. So I got to square these up, cut this one, then we'll throw some lumber at it. Feels pretty sturdy. In the next video, I'll explain behind the scenes under the deck. Thanks for watching.